Hello and welcome to Proxmox Tutorials. I am Computerized William, and in this video I will show you the installation of a Windows 2016 server on Proxmox VE. In order to create a new virtual machine, just log into your Proxmox V admin interface and click on Create VM. Choose the node and enter a name for your new VM. Click Next. As OS type, choose Windows 10 over 2016. Click Next. Select the Windows 2016 installation ISO and click Next. For the hard disk, choose SCSI and the VM storage. I go for a local ZFS storage for this demo, therefore I use the default cache settings and I activate discard. If you want to know more about all these settings, just click on help and read more in our reference doku. It will open in a new window. Click Next and set the CPU count. I choose 6 cores. Click Next. I'll need 4 GB RAM in my Windows, so I set 4096. Click Next. For the network, set Vertio for best performance. And click Next. Review your settings. In case you want to change anything, just go back to the correspondent tab. I change the CPU to 4 cores. Then I simply go back to the confirm tab and click finish. Now, the VM is created. You can see the progress in the taskbar. The VM129 now shows up in the tree, here. Select the new virtual machine. If you want to add some remarks click in the notes field and enter your notes. Go to the hardware tab and add the Vertio driver ISO. Click on the Options tab and enable the Quemu agent. Now you can start the VM, and on the console you can follow the Windows installation wizard. Select the needed keyboard layout and click Next. As I do not want to enter the license key right now, I choose to do it later. In the next step choose the Windows variant. I go for 2016 standard with desktop. And click Next. And accept the license terms. Choose Custom Install and load the right Vertio SCSI e driver from the ISO. Click Next. Confirm the installation disk, and click Next. Windows now will start the installation. This will take a few minutes, depending on your hardware.
After a few minutes, continue the installation by creating the password and login. Now, open the computer management and go to the device manager. Right click the Ethernet controller and open the update driver wizard. Browse for the Vertio network driver. Click Next and Install. Do the same for the next PCI devices. The first is the Vertio Balloon device. For convenience, I just specify the root location, and the Windows WZ will pick up the right driver automatically. And last but not least, select the Vertio serial device used for QEM guest agent communication. Now we are ready to install the QEM guest agent. Just open the file explorer. Navigate to the guest agent and double click the installation file. You can now see the service is installed and running. Finally, we can install the ballooning service. First copy the right directory to your program files directory. and rename it to Balloon. Open the command line and navigate to this directory. The installation can be done with blnsvr.exe-i. Do a refresh. And you will see the new balloon service. One benefit of the balloon service is the better memory reporting. Open the Windows Task Manager and compare the used memory with the value on the Proxmox V interface. This should be identical. If you stop the balloon service, you will see the difference. Start it to get the right value again. If I click on the shut down button on Proxmox VE, the QEM guest agent is shutting down reliably. I hope the video could help you to install Windows 2016 server on Proxmox VE. Thanks for watching.